useless most of the time, doesn't he? He's just back there walking around, confused and dazed. Anyway. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, when I actually find a use for these dopey demon fangs. This is... This is the demon fang trader. One of the only two people you can actually use the demon fangs with. Um... Okay, that's nice. Just call me anything, dude. I... <laughs> the Great Fang Trader, Kiba. Um, side note, I think I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that Kiba is Japanese for Fang. A little bit, tidbit of information there. Mostly learned from watching too much Wolf's Rain. <laughs> I'm a geek for that show. That one and, uh... Uh... Giga Dentsu Rito. Um, those are my two favorite ones. Guess why? Anyway, we finally got the lucky golden cat, this thing I love to death, because it means I don't have to go chase down things. They just come to me automatically, which is really, really nice. It saves a lot of my, a lot of time to not have to, like, circle the arena trying to figure out where things went. Let me see if I can demo it. Uh, I have to find something. This one, probably. There we go. See that? Normally I'd have to go chase those down, and now they just come right to me. It's wonderful. Um, where do I need to go? Well, I know where I need to go, I just can't remember how to get there. See, this is what I mean by I get lost in this zone, because it's, it's so... There's no landmarks, it's just a whole bunch of trees. So excuse me as I, uh run around the lake here. Because I know it's, it's somewhere around here. I know it. There it is. Okay, that little island over there with the person on it. Um, but first, item grabbing. Because I'm forgetful. Yay! Okay. And uh, a little patch of dead grass. Gotta fix that up. And then feed whatever animal comes out of this. Oh yeah, bunnies. Bunnies! Sorry. I'm sad I'm out of water. I have to go make go the next time I take a break. Anyway. Enough of the uh, random rambling. He'll get a voice eventually, just not yet. Oh, we have the Forest Kukari. He's wearing a bunny skin on his head. I find that sad. I don't like the fact that he killed a bunny to turn into a hat. Then again, his father, Karude, killed a bear to turn into a hat, but still. Bunnies are cuter. I just realized something. What, does that mean that Karude had to kill a sleepy bear to make his hat? That makes me really upset. <laughs> sleepy bears have no rights in this game, do they? Uh, that's actually just an assumption. Probably isn't him. Anyway. Um, so we left his dog back in uh, Suda Runes. Because he's a chicken. And now he's upset because he left the dog back there and the key fell into the water. So he can't get back into the rooms to save his dog. And he has no line to fish out the key from the water. So why he's standing here with a pole for no apparent reason, I don't really know, but... And now we have to be mean and headbutt him to snap him out of it. Because <laughs> he seems mean. He seems not like, you know, okay, let's just talk him down or something. No, let's, let's beat the hell out of him. Maybe that'll get him to stop crying. <laughs> because, you know, physical damage won't upset him further at all. In fact, it's the thing that boosts me up all the time. <laughs> Isun would make a really crappy parent, wouldn't he? That's okay, though. Anyway. Another plot point. The Deep Abyss. Um, a giant fish swallowed the moon on the surface of the water. And even though it may or may not be true, they say that the moon doesn't uh, show in a god of forest anymore. 
technically though, the moon doesn't show anywhere because you can go anywhere in this game at night time and there will be no moon in the sky. Um, except for two occasions. But even so. We'll just stick to the legends. Anyway, so now we got a fish. And yes, he makes the sound effect every single time. This yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> and it's a crawfish. Fishing is, I like it. It's nice. It's fun. But it does get a little annoying, especially when you're trying to fill out the entire tome. Um, this is the one thing I may not technically 100% in this game, however I have 100%ed it elsewhere. And so it might be more for just the interest of saving time. Or maybe I'll just offer camera it or something, I don't know. I still haven't decided. But there are certain points in this game where you have to mandator mandatorily fish, like right now. And I think there's two others that you have- no, three others you have to do it. Um, and then after that you can do it whenever you want. In different locations, so that's always fun. A giant salmon. Cool. Now we have an actual loading scene as another sequence loads up. Which usually means there's going to be more voice acting. Yay! Wow, that's a big one. Huh? Hey! That's, that's the ruins key! It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish! Now I can go save Ume over at the ruins! I'm gonna go all the way in this time! No running away from me now! Hey, give that back! Hehe, <laughs> good move, Amy! We can't have that kid getting hurt on your watch! Well, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Suda Ruins! Oh man, those are tough voices to do. And now he's gonna, Kokari's gonna chase us around and he's gonna try, try to take the key back and, you know. We can't have that happen, now can we? Although, as soon as you get onto a lily pad or something, he goes back to wherever he is on the island and, um, well, was on the island and, uh, there was a little tougher tantrum. Apparently, he can't swim after us. Um, anyway. And, uh, now we can go to, uh, Suda Ruins. Hoorah. Um, you know what? I want to do the reflector thing again, real quick here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just so thrilled that I actually figured out how to do that. Okay. Let's take out the imp thing. Because I don't want to have to deal with the fish thing and an imp at the same time. Um, oh, screw it. Let's see how this works. <gasps> it even works on the range attacks, too. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. That's my new favorite thing to do. I wonder if I can use it on the fish guys. Come on. Come on, buddy. Stop Stop doing your damn show. Come on, come get me. Come on. Get him. Oh, screw this. Just take him out of the I don't have the time to waste on you. I have to get to Suda Ruins. Even though I'm stalling. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work! No, 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 bad, 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 bad. Oh! Crap. That one. Oh, okay, at least I had the, uh... God level thing. Okay. That could've been worse. Anyway. Two Suda ruins. Where Chusano was happily standing outside of that place, the big gate thing. And of course it turns nighttime first. Thank you, game. Oh well, we're here, let's feed the deer. The key vanishes during those scenes too. Huh. Anyway. Oh, there's one over there too. Oh, I, I knew that, I just didn't realize that. And now that we've gotten close enough to the door. Ta da! Wow. That's a door. <laughs> 